11 months ago, I made a video called Dirt to AOTD. The video blew up, and it's the sole reason my channel is where it's at today. Then, I made Dirt to Midas, improving upon the series and making it even more crazy than ever before. Dirt to Midas blew up even more than Dirt to AOTD ever did. But now, 8 months after Dirt to Midas, I think I'm finally ready to step it up another notch. This is Dirt to Hyperion. For those of you who don't keep up with Hypixel Skyblock items, the Hyperion is a brand new sword added in the Floor 7 update. It's the holy grail of Skyblock items. It's valued at around 600 million coins. Now, that's about 12 times as much as the Midas sword which I obtained in Dirt to Midas. I think I can say with reasonable confidence that no one else has done this in Hypixel Skyblock. I mean, even Dirt to Midas was crazy, so yeah, this is going to be a bit of a challenge. There are three key rules that I'm going to be following throughout this entire challenge. No farming, no donations, and you have to use an alt account. All of the mods and tools that I use for my flipping will be listed in the description. Also, if you're wondering why my upload schedule has been so bad and why I've been so inactive, well, part of the reason is because I've been streaming on Twitch every single day for three to four hours a day. So if you enjoy this video, hey, maybe come check it out. And while I'm here advertising things, may as well come join my Discord. It's a really friendly community, we do tons of giveaways, and you get notified when I go live or post a video. All right, I'm gonna shut up now. I think it's time that we finally get Dirt to Hyperion properly started. So here we are, brand new profile, alt account, let's get started. First thing we have to do is break this tree and make ourselves a bridge to the hub, because staying here isn't going to make us any money anytime soon. Now that we're in the hub, there is one thing we have to do before we can officially start the challenge. When you're starting off with the equivalent of one coin, there really aren't a huge amount of ways of making more money. Fortunately, in Skyblock, the bazaar exists, which is how we're going to make all of our money early game. But to unlock the bazaar, you have to have three skills leveled up to level seven, farming, foraging, and mining. Since we just started a brand new profile, all of our skills are level zero. So before we get started on the challenge, we're gonna have to level up our skills and unlock the bazaar. Last time when I did Dirt to Midas, I transferred items from my main profile. This was just to speed up the leveling of skills so that I could get into the actual challenge faster. But a bunch of people still got really mad in the comments section saying that I was cheating and that my run was void. So guess what? We're doing it from scratch this time. I'm going to get all of the tools on the new profile. All right, let's level up some skills. Now that I had all my skills leveled and the bazaar unlocked, we could finally begin the challenge. First, I had to get rid of all of my old tools, because I'm not allowed any of them. The only thing I'm allowed is a single dirt block. I also have to get rid of all of the money that I earned from leveling my skills. I'm not allowed any coins to start off with. The easiest way I found to get rid of all the coins is by jumping into the void 17 times. And just like that, we're ready to start the challenge. The first thing we have to do to start the challenge is to grab ourselves a dirt block. So there we go. That is the dirt block that we're going to be using for the rest of the challenge. Now it's time to leave the island and go to the hub, because this is where we're going to be making all of our money. So how do we begin? How are we going to turn this dirt block into a Hyperion? Well, first we have to sell it, because it's really not that useful in its current form. But the one coin we get from selling it is useful. Now armed with a single coin, we can go to the bazaar and start making some money. After looking around for a while, I found that you could buy cactus for 0.5 coins each. This is really useful because you can sell a piece of cactus to an NPC for one coin each. This means you're essentially doubling your money every time you buy cactus from the bazaar. Now I have absolutely no idea why cactus prices were so low, but I definitely abused it. I multiplied my money all the way up to 64 coins, but then the bazaar stopped working because I was on cooldown, so I went looking for alternate money making methods. Eventually, I realized that NPC reselling sand from the builder would be very profitable. So I went over to the builder and bought 32 blocks of sand for 64 coins. I then went back to the bazaar and sold the sand for 480 coins. 
And now that I had more money, I could go back and buy more sand and sell it back to the bazaar for even more money. After hitting the buy limit for sand, I decided to switch over to some other items from other NPCs. I tried to cherry pick items with the highest profit margins because I was looking for the money as fast as possible. After buying and selling a bunch more items, I ended up with about 25k. Now that I had some more money, I could go back to abusing the ridiculously low price of cactus. You could buy cactus for 0.6 coins each, and then you could sell it for 1 coin each at an NPC. It was the definition of free money. I bought and sold cactus for about 10 minutes, and in that time I made around 25k profit. This buying and selling process was really boring though, so I wanted to go to the AH and try my hand at making a few flips. The first item I bid on was an uncommon combat XP boost. The current bid was about 2000 coins when you can sell this on buy it now for about 50k. I also bid on some snowsuit armor which you can get for basically nothing on auction, yet when you put it up on buy it now it sells for a pretty decent price. The bids I placed on the snowsuit armor ended, I bought both pieces for about a thousand each which was a very good price. I had a look at what price they were selling for on bin and then I put them both up on auction for about 25,000 each. This was quite a bit lower than the current lowest price, so hopefully it would sell fast, but it was still massive profit for me if it went through. Unfortunately, I didn't win the bid for the combat XP boost, so I claimed back my money and went to look at some tuxedo pieces that were selling for cheap on AH. I bid on some jackets and some pants, but the key thing I bid on were the boots. Boots can sometimes go unnoticed because everyone's focusing on the more important pieces of the set, so there's a good chance of sniping the boots for quite cheap. In the meantime, my snowsuit pieces had sold. This was essentially a free 50k because I bought them for next to nothing. Also, those tuxedo boots that I had bid on, I managed to snipe. I bought them for only 10k and they're worth quite a bit, so I put them back up on auction for 150k buy it now. The next thing I tried to flip was some epic rabbit pets that were on the AH and selling for about 3,000 each. But you could sell these on bin for 60 to 80,000. I won bids for two of these rabbit pets for 2,000 each. So I put one up for 85,000 and another one up for 80,000. If both of those sold, it would be a free 150,000 profit. After a while, I came back and the one for 80,000 had sold. So with my profit, I went and I started placing some bids on some Ender Armor. This is another one of those items, like the rabbit pets I was bidding on earlier, that is really cheap on auction, but on bin can get really expensive. So, if you can manage to snipe a cheap auction, you can be looking at some really good profit. I managed to snipe a pair of Ender Leggings for 35k, put them back up on bin for 55k for a free 20k profit. I managed to snipe another pair of Ender Leggings, this time for 25k, so even more profit on this flip. The other Ender Leggings sold for 55k, so I put these ones back up for 55k again. The leggings sold almost instantly, and so with the money I made, I went and I started making some bids on some wise crystal armor. I bid on a pair of boots and a helmet, and when the bids ran out, I had won both of them. I got them for really cheap, the boots for 2k and the helmet for 50k. When I sold them, I decided to put up the boots for 80k and the helmet for 180k. Someone bought the helmet for 180k, and so with the free 130k profit I made, I started bidding on some adaptive boots. Early game AH flipping is just this process of slowly upgrading the items you're flipping, getting a bit more money, bidding on more expensive items, and just repeating over and over again. I managed to buy a golden scarf head for 120k, so claimed it and put it back up on auction for 180k bin. After a while, a bunch of things had sold, including the golden scarf head and also the tuxedo boots that I had put up earlier. And just from those flips, I had made about another 200k. Next, I bought a bunch of different random items for really cheap, including a wise crystal helmet, a dragon scale, some adaptive boots, and an epic bat pet. The crystal helmet sold for 200k, the adaptive boots sold for 215k, and the epic rabbit that I'd bought earlier sold for 65k. So in general, all of my flips were doing really well. There hadn't been a single flip that had not worked, that no one had bought, or that had lost me money. I continued on by bidding on a rare guardian pet, which somehow I won for 575k along with an old dragon chest plate for 120k. Also the dragon scale that I bought earlier sold for 85k which was very nice. The guardian pet insta sold for 700k, so that was a free 125k profit. I sniped another pair of crystal boots for 10k again, so that was another free 100k. 
I came back after a while to a bunch of failed bids, but on the bright side, the crystal boots had sold for 110k. Unfortunately, all the other items I was trying to sell, well, they were taking a bit longer. When I got back on the next morning, I found that all of my auctions had sold. So that's the bat for 70k and the old dragon chestplate for 170k. I started up my flips for the day by bidding on an adaptive blade, which I managed to win for about 350k. I figured I could sell this on bin for 470k for about 120k profit. Now that I had a bit more money, I could test out a different style of AH flipping. Basically, I would buy a Rejuvenate 1 book on the AH for 30 to 35k. I would do this 16 times and then I would combine all of the books into a Rejuvenate 5 book. And because people are lazy when buying enchanted books, the Rejuvenate 5 book will go at about a 300k markup than the total cost of buying all the Rejuvenate 1 books. So if you just buy out the auction house of cheap Rejuvenate 1 books, you can make a lot of money by crafting them into Rejuvenate 5 books. I bought a total of 16 Rejuvenate 1 books for a cost of 30 to 35k each depending on the auction, and then I took all those books, crafted them into a Rejuvenate 5 book. I sold the book on the AH for about 700k for a total of around 200k profit. I decided that now would be the time to go and have a look on the bazaar and see if there's any items with really good margins that I could use to make some free money. I discovered that Grand XP bottles, which were really high in demand at the time because of the new enchanting update, had very solid margins. Good margins plus high demand equals a very solid opportunity to make a lot of free money. And so I started flipping the Grand XP bottles with just the normal bazaar flipping strategy. Buy with a buy order and sell with a sell order. Once I started actually flipping, I realized just how crazy the demand for these items were. I would put in a buy order and it would instantly fill. I would try and sell the order and then it would also instantly sell. So yeah, it was just really profitable. I continued flipping these Grand XP bottles for quite a while and I really started racking up some money because it was just so profitable. Eventually, the adaptive blade that I'd been selling for 470k finally sold. So I took that money and I went and kept flipping the Grand XP bottles. At this point, I was flipping about 160 Grand XP bottles every single flip. And so I was making a lot of money. Finally, someone bought the Rejuvenate 5 book that I'd been selling for 700k. Now take a guess what I did with that money. Yeah, that's right, I bizarre flipped more. Eventually, I had enough money to start flipping soul fragments, which were really low demand, but massive margins. If I could get even one soul fragment, I would have made 150k instantly. Eventually, my soul fragment buy order filled, and so, like with any bizarre flip, I just instantly put it up as a sell offer, hoping that someone would buy it. Now that I had more money, I could do both bizarre flipping and auction flipping at the same time. Doing both at the same time is just more optimal if you want to make as much money as you can, as fast as you can. I managed to buy a Bonzo mask for a tiny bit under market value, 380k. So I put it back up an auction for 430k, 350k profit, not bad. At this point, I had been flipping Grand XP bottles for at least an hour. And in that time, I had made over 1.5 mil. So anyway, that was all I did for that day. I logged on the next morning to collect all of my money and collect some bids and just get a final tally of how much money I had made in my sessions of flipping. And if you count the soul fragment that hadn't sold as 800k, then we're at about 3 mil. Now the total amount of time it took for me to get 3 mil on this brand new profile, including the collection of all of the skills, is about 3.5 hours. And if you don't count the time it took for me to get the skills, then it shaves it down to about 3 hours. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this episode. 3 mil in about 3 hours of gameplay is not a bad starting point at all. And as the episodes go by, we're only going to be making more and more money exponentially. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and maybe even subscribe so you don't miss out on future episodes. That's about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.